Hey guys, it's me, the owner of the Pizza Plex, Elijah. I am back with Doki Doki Lurch of Club Plus. And last time we finished Respect, and now we're on balance. Natsuki. Well, Natsuki is messing with the other orientation of her manga. In the closet shelves, Sari approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. Ah, my ears. What? Hi. Hi. The Liturgy Club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined, including her. The club is now comp comp comprised of four members. Sari, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was first and shared her passion for manga. Then Sari shared her love for poetry, as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Monica, who has multiple liter liter literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help and encouragement from Siori. After the weeks we was spent on their pres presentations, Monica decided to give up the club members this week, next week, to freely explore each other's liter lit literary interests. Siori, having spent most of her time in the club, so far with Yuri's fantasy books is rather exci excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today. Tell me which one I should pick. Ah, uh, well, that depends on what kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery. I like all of those. Sari reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? Oh. You went like that one. In pa a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sari's hand. Then replaces it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in. And I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already really into manga. I can handle it. I did it with Yuri's book at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the attention span of a donut. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick you something that even donuts can be. <laughs> I didn't say I was a donut. I just said that my I had a, the intention span of one. Uh, were you just trying to call me sweet? You're so cute. No, how did you even get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A donut? You. Ah, uh, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet door. If someone asks you to stop, then you should. You just need to stop. People need to realize that. I'm. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, no, sorry, it wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while put it, pulling a second chair over the, her, to her desk. I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get all angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're like, well, like a nice person, so I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Sari speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving that the unexpected comment, compliment. Well, anyway, here's the book, so just start it whenever you feel like it. What is, what's it about? Well, it's a, like a comedy, and there's romance too, obviously. 
Siri looks at the title. It's called Love is, is Another Word for Luck. That's a weird name. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you find out, like... Well, you shouldn't just read it. Well, you should just read it. Sorry. But you have to tell them what you think. I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's not worry about that yet. Just make sure to tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too? Um, yeah, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we could do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you do it. You make you or anything. Now it's just. Well, I've, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monica strikes up a conversation with Siori. I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and impressive. And wait. Expressive, sorry. I could just listen to her talk, so she's so... Uh, I'm not sure if she meant... I can't say that to her, or if I can, can't can say it at all. Say what? Nothing. I am a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman, is a woman of cute. Oh, I said it. Ah, uh, what's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I can kind of worry about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little signs like how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. And it feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. She just seems dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just shy, you know? Maybe. Ah, uh -huh, my stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It, uh, it likes to do that. It's okay. Try not to worry so much. Every Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. Monica a quick hug well I'm not I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I want to get close to closer to her. you got this ah yeah I don't know after the next club meeting starts Sierra is the last one in as usual <sighs> <sighs> Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Siari pulls up a chair and plops herself down next, right next to Natsuki. Hello there. Hi. What's your reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Siri. You can't just start in the middle there. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been waiting forever for this volume to come out, and it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm-hmm. Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. 
Sherry plops herself down next to Natsuki and then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Natsuki reads in silent, save, save for the parodic flutter of a page being released from beneath the thumb. From Sherry's side, only the light tapping noises of her pen meet the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sierra's paper is filled with scribbles and the margins of are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you bored? No, nah, I was writing. Oh, I s saw the, all the stick figures and I thought you were just bored. I just saw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. The one is sad because she thinks that the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And the, this one it has problems with his back, but, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. Ah, what the heck? You're the weirdo. Want to read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Siri slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Hmm. She slides the paper back over to Siori. Don't you feel, ever feel weird just write, sharing all your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are all, like, really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings well. I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't figure uh, find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't that depend more on the kinds of stuff you're, of friends you have? I don't know. To each of them, but I've never met anyone who I feel comfortable uh, sharing my poems with. Not that it's you. It's just how I am, so. You write poems? You never told me that. I just thought you wrote other stuff. Yeah, that too, but... You should. I mean, I would... Would you ever share? want to share a poem? To share? Like I said, I don't do that. But can we talk about something else? Sorry, it's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help. I can't help it. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Over the next few days, he already begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. It's Natsuki. Hey, Bon Bon. I think it's the birthday boy. Don't tell Fuente if I didn't even make him. Ugh. I see you over there. No. Get away from me. No. Don't throw him at me. Don't throw Bon Bon. That's what I thought. Anyways, Natsuki! Hi, Natsuki. It's like a, a Karen. Ugh. Just kidding. I don't know. I'm bored. At the end of the one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather <gasps> invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an in Ocus in Innosis, what? I don't even know that word. It's on screen and definition or whatever. I don't know. And maybe a text to speech thing. Innocuous. So people know. Anyway, con conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Siori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've, you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulder but doesn't reply further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk to people behind their backs. Oh. Oh, talk about, sorry. Natsuki falls silent 
but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing, as though she wants to say more. <sighs> it's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I better than do it to it to do it to others. Monica shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um thanks, I guess, but it doesn't feel like that it you can trust me. Natsuki stands in silent for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to someone being like all over me right after we meet. I mean it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have to control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become fr best friends with them. And I l like share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I know. I just feel bad about it. I know Siri, so I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which has suffered surfaced mainly due to her being the one who uh, previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Which one are we on? Are we on respect or was it understanding? I don't remember. Maybe the editor knows. <laughs> Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want to me to talk about, talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could. I don't. Oh my god! I keep yawning. Oh, oh. I don't know. I could like divert her into the, another club activity for you or something. No way. That would be so underhanded and mean. Sorry, I didn't think that went through. Wait, what did she say? We can divide her into another club activity for you. Ah. Besides, just because I complained about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problem for me. True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if it, I haven't been invited to. It's fine. I will talk to Siri about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her... Just constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sarah really wants to be the best she can to be, be for other people. I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe. Uh, it just feels so dumb talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. Wearing shades, are ya? Maybe literally? Just kidding. Monica, sh maybe she's the thug life. Thug life. I don't know. Monica shrugs. It's the, like, literature club. Then she mumbles through a stiffled laugh. Okay, Monica. Okay, Monica. Her. Okay, uh, mon harmonica. Okay, m monogram. Okay, um, circus Monica. Monica baby. Circus baby Monica. Glitch trap Monica. Glitch Monica. Monica trap. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the cool club. You know what else is the cool club? My mom. Well, well, well. Sounds like someone needs some supervision. You know who else needs supervision? My mom! <laughs> you know who else has the best tacos in the city? Dude, Vincent will blow a fuse if he finds out we were slacking off. You know who else would blow a fuse if she found out we were slacking off? We don't have time for this. You know who else doesn't have time for this? Ah. You know who else says, ah? My mom! <laughs> Hey! Aha, uh -huh, sorry, that just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're ki kind of in a tough spot, and that it's hard t for you to really express yourself. But you've really demonstrated to me that you're doing great as at self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it, if it doesn't feel like it to you. 
buff Natsuki, Circus Monica, uh, Super Sayori, and Purple Yuri. Purple guy! I don't know. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Well. Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't go find any excuse to do so. You're an excuse. Thanks, Thanos. I'm gonna I'm gonna snap my fingers and erase you all from existence. I'm gonna Thanos snap all four girls. Look at them turn into dust. They're all dust. Anyways. Natsuki gathers her things, then she fi finishes her thoughts in a uh, mumble. I am inevitable. I am inevitable. And I'm still glad I joined the, the club, even if it's weird sometimes. You know that one scene in Avengers Endgame where Captain America... Picks up Thor's hammer and Thor was like, I knew it. funny maybe the scene will play on screen I mean what and I'm still glad I joined the club even if it's re weird sometimes you know who else is weird you oh come on anyways Monica smiles but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before w waiting for a reply it was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. What if, what if Light Yagami and, uh, oh, it's done. Oh, there's more mail. Okay, I'll read those in a second. Alright, you know, um, what if not Light Yagami from Death Note and Kirito from um, Sorta Online were canon in D D DLC. They'd be wooing those ladies. <laughs> they're main characters and they get the crazy ones. And they always get the girls for some reason. They always get hit on. It's a little weird. They're blushing probably. Probably on screen. I mean, what? Anyways, uh, let's see what the mail. I've less blaster. This is the second one that posted. OMG. I have blaster. Untitled mail group. Do not use. Friday, December 6th, 2019. OMG. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? <laughs> oh, maybe we should find the Twitter account on Twitter itself and post it on the screen to see if it's real. I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. Ha 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 ha. It would get 404 in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually, or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the, the contents of the tweets, e.g. not screaming for help, I assume they're coming from the control simulation. Damn. Paula Minor, staying focused on her goals. Paula Minor, untitled mail group, do not use. Thursday, December 5th, 2019, 12.06 a.m. Staying focused on her goals. As a reminder to help guide our data collection, any analysis performed should be focused on answering some of these main questions. How does granting ev elevated access to the VM affect a person's emotional state? How does granted 
elevated access to the VM affect a person's valued values and goals? How does someone effectively navigate and experiment with their abilities to change the contents of their VM? How is elevated access being weaponized? What actions are and values most contributed contribute to the destruction of the universe? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> most importantly, how might your observation apply to your our own universe? Are you talking about destroying the world right now? Bonus, how can we present this to upper management as an operation that benefits that co the company? A related note, whoever changed the color scheme of the desktop to pink, can you please change it back? It's unprofessional and it ruins the risk of draw drawing eyes. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Anyways. Oh uh, yeah, well the mail got a mail. All right, guys. Um, oh um, by the way, I wanted to say this last time with that whole Natsuki and Siri argument thing, but um, yeah, just let's put a quote on screen right now. All right, if <clears throat> don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to be who you want to be. Don't let others judge you. You are a, your own. You are your own person. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Don't be afraid to uh, be whoever you want to be. Be gay. Be lesbian. Be a a freaking miner in a cave. I don't care. You are a, your own person. You are in control of your own life. You're allowed to do whatever you want and be who you ever you want. Don't let other people tell you otherwise. That's not their decision it's yours be yourself and be proud thank you for listening anyways all right guys if you guys like this video please leave a like subscribe and click the notification button so you never miss any of our videos and for that i'll see you all next time bye everyone